I'm going to like the streets of the summer league is what it's going to be for you guys. Man, I think we got some guys that really compete. Like, it's a very competitive group. Um, our defense has been really good. We got guys that are playing hard, um, super competitive, active. You know, Ryan and Oso, you know, David, they're big, physical, strong uh, defenders. And so I've just liked how our teams competed. And a lot of times you feel that more on defense than offense. And I think that's been our biggest strength, just how much we compete against one another. What's kind of your message to these guys as they get in here with the NBA logo on their chest and get to take the floor for the first time in Suns? Yeah, you know what? It's the same thing we're talking about with our entire team, our entire organization. We want to compete. Uh, we want to get better every single day, and we want to be together. And, you know, the biggest thing is these guys taking advantage of this time to do all those things, get better every day, whether it be in the weight room, um, learning on film, or just, you know, competing against one another, you know, iron sharpens iron type thing. And, you know, they, these guys have been great with that. Super unique defender. You know, obviously things that we saw on film in college. His ability to defend around the rim as kind of a wing. I mean, there's parts of practice where he's picked up the point guards and navigated screens. There's been times where he's been, the, you know, like a big coming over to block shots. Uh, but his ability just to kind of keep on going. But his his uh, rim defense is something that has really impressed me so far. And with him, so obviously, you know, about the playmaking, but what have you seen from him defensively in terms of being a little bit more of a switch? Yeah, he's got, you know, great, great tools, good hands. He's smart. Um, he's been good in everything we've given him. Uh, we've had him in, in non-switch type defenses, and he's getting a hang for that. We've had him uh, pick up the point guard full court and create havoc that way. And then he definitely has kind of a knack for switching and being able to move his feet on the perimeter, um, which is going to help him. You guys want to see from David uh, yeah, his development this summer? David's been great. I mean, his his time he's put in here since I got here, I don't know how many weeks ago, um, he's just he's continued to work and get better. Um, he's been a real leader for the summer league team, which is kind of a unique opportunity for him. And he's, he's kind of the vet and he's the leader and, you know, him just continuing to get better on defense and offense thing at summer league, he's going to get to handle, he's going to be space. He's going to shoot. He's going to do a lot for us defensively. So, you know, he's had a great summer. We're looking forward to seeing him, you know, keep on going here in Vegas. With guys of also size around the league, we're seeing a lot of like playmaking pubs, like from the elbows or from whatever the top of the arc. I'm curious if you see that in his progression or even his development. For some. Yeah, no, I think the ability to play multiple pick and rolls. You know, a lot of teams, the NBA is really good. There's great defenses, there's great players. Guarding one pick and roll is tough. Taking that pick and roll and turning it over into second and third pick and rolls and his ability to kind of move the ball from side to side, either him physically or just him, him as a mover is is something we're really excited about. I think the leaders you have kind of patterned yourself after, and you kind of, how'd you kind of describe your coaching uh, personality and philosophy? Man, that's a great question. I would say um, my dad. My dad is um, a, he was a junior college basketball coach and just a really great leader. Um, he's someone I look up to. I still talk to all the time. You know, he really believed in loving his players. And when you love them, um, they love you back. And, um, you know, I've had the fortune to work for a lot of great NBA coaches, Coach Bud multiple times, um, Tom Thibodeau, Quinn Snyder. But I'm going to go with my grade school principal, Sister Diane. Like, she is probably the best leader I've ever seen. Just the, the effort that she put into making sure that everybody at our school was always, you know, taken care of, thought for, held accountable. Um, so I'd say outside the box, my dad and sister Diane from St. Brennan's come to Vegas. Is she like a Vegas guy? She, sister Diane is no longer with us, but actually her and sister Christine, they were older Polish nuns and they love to go gamble. So sister Diane will be watching from up above, but if she was alive, her and sister Christine would for sure get on the tables a little bit and play. So it'd be good. You know, Jalen's done a really good job, you know, his size and his ability to move and then make shots. But I've really enjoyed his cutting, you know, the way he moves off the ball. 
And I think he's going to be, you know, have a really good summer for us. And because I think he's got versatility, I think he can run and shoot. He's a good slasher. And then again, his size and his ability to compete defensively have been really good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys.